The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? Welcome to the first episode of something I'm hoping to do pretty regularly. They're gonna be little shorter videos, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, we'll see how that goes. Uh, where I address, address questions within the comments of my videos as it pertains to the Amico, my thoughts, feelings, and I will throw facts out there that if you wanna to try to deny them, that's fine. You'll look like the, the idiot, but it is what it is. People don't want progress, they just wanna be right. I'm gonna be calling this Amico Addressed. And here's my first one. I got that question actually today on a video I did months ago addressing the cost of the Amico. I think the video was called, It'll Cost How Much? And I break it down and show that the Amico, though the price has gone up, uh, is still a decent value considering what is going to be packaged with it. Whether you agree with that or not, whatever. The numbers and the facts don't lie. But people try to put in the whole, well, I don't like that kind of thing. Well, it doesn't matter if you like it or not. The physical and monetary value is still there, whether you enjoy or do not enjoy what it is that's going to be on offer. That value is still there. It may not be a value to you because you don't enjoy it, but in a large scheme of things, a fact is a fact. So I chose to use this individual's comment on purpose because it, it, it actually brought a realization to me, a, a revelation, if you will, a beaming light coming down. Now, he talked about, well, the, the Switch has two controllers for those type of games. No, it's still one controller that you can break off. You're trying to tell me, yeah, okay, if you want to go on a technical standpoint, yes, those are two individual controllers. But come on, be realistic. They're like this tiny, can you see fat fingers like this trying to grapple one of those things? No. It doesn't come with two actual controllers. It comes with one controller that you can break a piece off and hand to a friend and say, here you go. Here's this little piece of shit. So mainly I want to address the other part of that comment where he said, by the time this comes out, you could pretty much get all those games on the Amico for between three to $10 or whatever it was. I don't have it right in front of me, but you, you, you read it. Hopefully you read it. And to him, I want to say this, and to you, everyone wants to compare Amico, everyone wants to compare the Amico to the Switch, and of course to the other consoles, and you know, we can keep telling you that you can't do that because it's not supposed to be, it's running in its own lane, and you can keep coming back to us and saying, well, it's a video game console, so regardless by nature, it's going to be compared to that, and I agree, I agree to it, but what I'm trying to tell you is it's not in that same vein, nor is it trying to be in that same vein. Sure, the, the Switch has plenty. The Switch has plenty of games where me and my kids can play together. I'm sure there's a, a, a Mario Party on there now. All consoles have gotten them since the N64. So um, that's not the point. Something I wanted to point out a long time ago, and I really haven't had the chance, so I figured now would be as good as any. The Amico is going to come with a feature that is... It doesn't have those features, if that makes any sense. Sure, go ahead and compare the two together, Nintendo, uh, Switch, and the Amico. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot the Switch can do that the Amico can also do, and more. But that's just it, that's a feature of the Amico. It doesn't have that and more, purposefully. Um, whether you agree with it or not, whether you enjoy that feature or not, or whether you think it's a good feature or not, it's neither here nor there, guys. I will always champion you to have your opinions and your feelings on things, um, but at the end of the day, that's all they really are. Same with mine, until a fact is brought out, and the fact is that some people are going to see that as a positive feature, and some people are going to see that as a negative feature, and we're just going to move on from that. It's not really a point of contention here. It's not a point of argument. And it's definitely not a point that you should probably try to use to stir people away from this thing. I would go a completely different route because we're all going to like something different. There's 31 fucking flavors for a fucking reason. So some people don't want those features in their new console. And whether you think that's right or not, it's neither here nor there. And you know what? That's really what I think of that. 
So my whole point of this video, this Amico address, is to say one real simple thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw it aside here. I want you to read that. I want you to read that again. Read it 100% verbatim. And I'm gonna play devil's advocate and say, okay, fine. Let's say all of that is 100% true. It's fact and it just is what it is. And here's what I'm saying to you. And I can only speak for me. I'm not speaking for the entire community. What if I just don't want to give Nintendo any more of my money? What if I don't like Nintendo anymore? What if I legitimately want to say fuck Nintendo and all their fucked up practices? Now, and I find it ironic that in a lot of places, uh, Miko fans are, are called sheep shills, blind followers, whatever the fuck you want to call them. And that's fine. I've met a few that were extreme on that i've met some that are just kind of like oh okay let's see where this goes i'm interested you know and everything in between and i do speak with a lot of these folks privately and there are times where i've legit came out and please guys in the comments let them all know i do this i do this i try to be that voice of reason maybe i just try to be the bummer but i'm constantly saying guys guys it's just a console this is supposed to be fun we're not fucking at war with anybody Let's just fucking talk about what we enjoy. Try to have a conversation whether you like what the other person has to say or not. And just have a dialect back and forth like I'm doing right now. A lot of people are going to disagree with what I say here. I'm going to say some pretty harsh things. So don't fucking take it too, too hard, okay? I'm not talking about anyone specifically. But I'm probably going to call somebody a dumb fuck for doing this. But I'm sick of tired of Nintendo and I'm sick of their practices. And I can't believe... Anyone who's still a Nintendoite <laughs> would have the fucking gall to call any of these Amico people fucking blind sheep or whatever the fuck. Because look at what you guys do. Nintendo. I just don't want to give them my money anymore. You know why? Because they're like they're like that abusive, and I've said this a number of times, they're like that abusive spouse. That abusive boyfriend or girlfriend that your dumb ass just keeps going back for more. You just have to fucking go back for more. And they've got you to pay top dollar for the exact same game for 35 fucking years i love super mario brothers yes i'm going with this 35th to 36th anniversary bullshit that's coming out and i would love to have that game and watch but it's never gonna happen it's never gonna happen for me because i'm not gonna fucking pay more than what the retail price is supposed to be but there's a lot of people out there that just absolutely has to have another copy of super mario brothers because it's in another fancy package that has the word nintendo on it and they're willing to pay two, three, five, eight, twelve times the price it came out with originally. And they're fucking proud to put it up on their fucking wall and say, Yay! I'm a shill for Nintendo. And they call my Amico friends fucking sheep. Look at everything Nintendo's done all the way back to the NES. The original fucking NES. They were a small dog anyway. and They weren't going anywhere. And then somehow they took off. Somebody finally gave him a chance, so, you know, I don't understand why we can't give the intelligence a chance, but that's not what I'm trying to talk about. Poor scarcity of their games, even back with the NES and moving all the way forward. Uh, the, the NES mini console, you can't tell me that they couldn't have produced enough. You can't tell me they didn't want to. They, they, they forced the scarcity. To, I'm not getting into that again. But they constantly keep doing that to you. Now all this new 35th anniversary stuff's going on. Everyone's excited. The Lego thing. Guys, I almost bought the Lego thing. Now I said $240 for a Lego NES and fucking stupid TV thing. And everyone went out and they went nuts for it. They went nuts for it. I don't want to give Nintendo any of my money. I don't want to give them any of my money. That's really all there is to it. So regardless if... They are comparable in every way. And in some cases, the Amico to you are not comparable to the Switch because it doesn't have certain features that it's purposefully trying not to have. I would just rather give Intellivision my money than Nintendo. And at the end of the day, that's the bottom line. Regardless if you like it or not, that's where my dollar is going to go. It doesn't make me smarter. It doesn't make me stupider. You could call me stupid for doing this, thinking that the console is going to be rubbish, and I'm going to get scammed out of it. And I'm just going to sit here and call you an idiot for fucking spending money on the same game for 35 fucking years. And it all balances out one way or another. So guys, that's my first episode of Amico Addressed. I will start going through my comments or move forward with comments. I will always leave your name out of it, because I'm not 
directly insulting you or attacking you. It's an idea that will come up and I want to address it. And in this case, it was, I just don't feel like giving Nintendo my money anymore. That's why I would prefer to get something from Intellivision. So that's it. Let me know what you think down below. And uh, if you think I should continue this, I'll do it as needed. I'll do it five a fucking week if I can, or one a month, depending on how the comments go. But let me know what you think down below. Let me know if anything I said rang any truth to you, or whether you disagree with all of it. I don't care either way. As long as you're not a dickhead, I'm cool. I'm cool with the conversation. And that's it, guys. But also leave feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All feedback to the Creeps Positive. Yes, I'm aware I look like Mickey Mouse. That was addressed when I first put those hats up there. And I said, I'm not going to move them. Because it's fucking silly. Guys, I hope you have a great weekend coming up soon. What's today? Thursday. So we got one more day. One more day in the trenches. And I hope you had a great week. Guys, until next time. Hope you're doing well. Take care. Creep it real. And just do what you love. It's all supposed to be fun. Bye-bye.